water workout equipment. Today we're going to talk about all different type of props you can use in the water, what is it good for, and how exactly it affects our workout in the water. You can also find a link to all props mentioned here in the video description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so if you'll do a quick search online for aqua workout equipment, you'll find hundreds, maybe thousands of them in this endless shopping list. But it all fits into one of these categories, buoyant, drag, weighted, rubberized, and flotation. Let's talk shortly about each one of them. Buoyant equipment, the most popular one in pool training. It's the noodles you all know, the hand buoys, the ankle cuffs, and many more. This buoyant equipment is made of foam and it doesn't weigh much on land, but in the water you can use it to generate a lot of resistance. The bigger the prop, the harder your muscles will work. You just want to make sure you pick a prop that is made of a very condensed foam. These are usually cost a bit more, but it will last you for longer and provides a much better resistance in the pool. There is a big variety of exercises we can do with the buoyant equipment, both in shallow and deep water workouts. We also use it, especially the noodles, to float our body in different positions like sideline or sitting, riding on it for travel exercises, and so on. The flotation equipment, like the flotation belt you can see here on this Amazon list, is also a great addition to water workouts. It helps to keep your body in neutral buoyancy and it will allow you to move your body freely, especially in deep water workouts. You can combine it with drag equipment like the gloves or fins around your hands and ankles. Now let's talk about drag equipment, which is basically creating more resistance for your muscles. How exactly? It increases the drag force of the water by increasing the surface area you're working against. Let's try to simplify this. You see, when we work out in the water, even with no equipment at all, we work against the water. The water is your resistance. The viscosity of the water creates what we call drag force. Increasing the surface area of this drag force can make our workout even more challenging. And with the right equipment, we can do that. The most simple and popular one is the web gloves. They add more drag when you move your hands and arms under water so there is more resistance for your upper body. Try even using a simple frisbee and you'll quickly realize the muscle challenge. The more fancy drag equipment would be the fins and bells attached to your hands and ankles. A great way to intensify your cardio or strength workout in the water. The buoyant and the drag equipment are made specifically for water workouts. You can't really use them for your land training. However, land-specific equipment can be used also in the water. This would be the weighted and rubberized equipment. Weights and dumbbells will feel different in the pool versus land as you're submerged in the water and dealing also with the water's viscosity, buoyancy and drag force. Give it a try, but preferably in shallow water. In this video, I'm using weighted ankle weights, not the buoyant ones, working my hips and thighs, and of course, a lot of core. Rubberized equipment like bands and straps, although not so popular in the water, can actually be a great way to increase muscle load. In addition to the band load, you're also working against the water's drag force. I found very few aqua bands made specifically for water use. Remember, you can also get a great aqua workout even without equipment. These props will definitely spice up your routine as it allows for many other exercise variations. In my blog, which is linked in the video description, you'll find a more detailed information about pool workout equipment and how to use it, so check it out. And that is it guys, I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more with more movements.